Hey, what is up, guys? Tyson De La Cruz here. Thank you so much for Rock with me. Uh, this uh, presentation that I'm actually going to go over with you uh, was originally intended for a one-on-one -on -one coaching call uh, with an individual um, that uh, rescheduled several times, and and uh, you know I created this PowerPoint presentation and uh, wanted to go through the training on how to actually find deals and how to compete. Uh, with other realtors and other investors uh, through finding deals in the MLS. And I thought to myself, well, fuck it. I'll just place it online so everybody can use this resource as a free re resource so everybody can win. And uh, it's also mind boggling to me that, uh, you know, when you provide information for free uh, for people, uh, how little that they see value in it or how little that they take action in it. You know, we can hop on YouTubes and Instagrams and, and Facebooks and all these other places where there's an abundance amount of information on uh, showing you how to close deals or how to get involved in the real estate, investing, wholesaling and flipping. Yet uh, very few people actually take uh, action when things are free. Uh, that being said, uh, let's hop in to the presentation. So in this presentation, we're going to lay out uh, how to find deals on the MLS. I'm going to break down uh, a couple key components. So here we go. Let's get jiggy with it. Um, those of you that don't know me, my name is Tyson De La Cruz. Um, I flipped hundreds of homes, wholesaled hundreds of homes uh, in Las Vegas, uh, LA, Arizona, uh, Arkansas, um, those are the current markets that we're in right now. Uh, we've done stuff in St. Louis and Chicago, um, but currently we're in uh, Las Vegas, Arizona, and Arkansas. <clears throat> uh, this is actually one of my favorite quotes. It is a quote by Abraham, Abraham Lincoln, probably one of the the most uh, dopest presidents, in my opinion. Um, if you give me six hours to chop down a tree, I'll spend the first four hours sharpening the ax. Now, this is great because, uh, you know, not only in my personal life, but in business, uh, just a reflection, uh, how many, uh, how many minutes, how many hours do we actually spend in reflection and preparing to reach our goals versus always trying to work, 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 and work. Um, Great quote by Abraham Lincoln. In this uh, in this presentation, uh, I'm going to break down uh, how to determine construction costs in your budget. I'm also going to provide you with a free calculator to be able to calculate uh, repair costs and budgets when you're comping properties on the MLS. Uh, how to set up your MLS for success and uh, unique displays on the MLS. And crazy, believe it or not, but MLS is a great source of data. Uh, it has an abundance of source of data. Uh, you can pull a lot of very powerful information that uh, uh, you can use to remarket. So let's uh, let's hop right in here. I'm going to get my MLS hooked up. Boom. All right. So this is the MLS. Um, now, those of you that are familiar with the MLS, you see this all the time. Um, there's a couple added features that we add when we're searching for particular criteria. Uh, this may be some basic information for some of you, but some of you might find this information really profound and like excited, or, you know, maybe you're in the middle of, of both of it. Uh, you're in the middle of, of uh, you know, this is freaking awesome, or this is basic bit shit, and you might learn something in the middle. Uh, at the bottom of our MLS here, uh, we added the, these additional features, uh, just allows us to find better properties or find properties quickly uh, on the MLS. Uh, these are uh, added right here on the additional fields. 
Uh, I told you I told you how to set up an MLS. So uh, what you do, you just basically go here, add and remove, and you add uh, these additional features here that uh, really allow you to kind of narrow down your searches. Uh, occupied by owner, vacant, uh, room type, um, builder description, fireplace, miscellaneous, uh, HOA, uh, association fees, is the bedroom downstairs, upstairs, uh, sold condition, you know, was it cash, was it purchased, um, property condition, fair, excellent, good, days on market, zoning, earnest money deposit, property description, city views, finance considered and uh, the county so what we're going to do first just to kind of show you the power of this here by having these set up if you look at um let's say we do we click owner carry because we're going to only look for single family properties that are willing to do an owner carry uh lease option and cash let's see how many options there are uh, so there's uh, 5,000 plus, I'm going to drop this to single family. And then I'm going to take off the cash and let's see what pops up here. So there's 74 owner carries and uh, lease options. So I'm going to go ahead and click the results tab here. And uh, we can see that all of these properties here are an active status and they're willing to do an owner carry. Now, uh, we have a, a feature set up on here that uh, really allows us to see uh, the entire uh, uh, format of, of what we're looking for. So uh, let's see. Here we go. Whoops. So if we go to, we set it up under my comps, but uh, you can see the agent's full name here. And when you get your MLS, the, the basic standard view isn't going to have some of these features. And this just allows us to comp properties just a little bit more quickly and effectively. It allows to see, you know, if we know or have created relationship with some of these agents in the past. Um, it gives us the year date, the parcel number, agent's phone number, agent, agent's listing email. You can do this by simply just clicking here like that and then inserting a column and then adding the additional information that you wish to see, association number, so on and so forth. I'm going to organize this uh, because these are uh, lease options. Look at this, 53 bucks. This is a super uh, miss uh, typo, 53 bucks. Ramen C. Vu, uh, you, you fucked up your listing price, man. Original listing price was $53. Now it's uh, $599. What a jump. What a price increase. Um, I'm going to click this one right here. So again, we're looking at owner carries and lease options. So this is really neat. This probably isn't even in Vegas. I'm going to, I'm going to narrow down the criteria here because this is 167,000 square feet. Uh, I'm going to go down here. And this is why this is important to have these county views here. So it, it brings it to 70, okay, about three pages here. Um, and I want to show you the power of this tool because I want to eliminate some of these properties that have small square footage uh, for the sake of this example. So we're going to go here and then we're going to do uh, lot square footage. Let's do, uh, let's do 6,300. And then we're just going to hit the plus sign. And then what that's going to do is going to pull everything above uh, 6,300. 44 matches. Now look at that. Now uh, 6,000 square feet, lot. Uh, let's click it. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful home. 
perfect. Now, looks dated, really, really dated. Floor looks good, carpet. So I just want to verify here. So this is Sun City Summerlin. Uh, move in ready, bop, bop, bop. Uh, remove shoes. And their, their financing considered um, is uh, cash, um, owner carry, lease option. Uh, this is all included into this particular uh, listing here. Um, I, I'm looking at the HOA here. So HOA is 130 a month. The financing considered here is cash, conventional, FHA, OWC, and VA. I'm going to go back to our view. Because again, you know, I, I want to show you guys how easy it is to use the MLS data to find owner carry deals or lease option deals. Those of you that uh, are familiar with um, uh, subject twos and, and creative finance. Uh, this one actually stands out really uh, heavily for me because it's uh, 544,000 single, single story, 1700 square feet, 20,000 square foot lot, which is freaking awesome. Um, great pictures. Uh, huge lot, huge, huge lot right here with the pool, like really, really unique. Um, dated, uh, great agent by the way this this agent's actually really awesome i love love this fireplace but you can see here that um as i'm clicking on this it's a horse property twenty thousand square foot lot out in centennial um possible owner carry with 25 percent down so looking at that at uh five hundred and uh fifty four thousand I'm just going to do rough numbers here uh, times 20%. Um, so we're looking at like about a hundred down, um, $110,000 down. Uh, another key component on here that I would look at if this is an option that I'm interested in is I'm going to, I'm interested in the days on market, right? Um, so I'm looking at the days on market. So it's been 119 days on market. The original list date was March. I'm going to go up here to the MLS history just to kind of see what's going on here. So originally it was listed in March. Uh, there was, there's been price decreases all the way up into this day. Um, so this this is an indication to me that there is a potential motivated seller. Uh, I'm going to verify to see if this is vacant. Let's see. Um, it looks like it is vacant. So this is a potential property that we would pull and we'd pull it directly from the MLS and then see if we can uh, co-collaborate on making an offer for this particular property. So, uh, this is how you can easily search for uh, owner carries or lease options on the MLS. Uh, I'm going to go back here. So we're going to stick again with single family residences. Um, we're going to keep with Clark County. Um, let's change the financing considered. We're going to keep it with owner carry lease options. Let's do cash. Whoops. We'll do cash. Okay. VA. Cool. All right. So now um, we're going to remove this because I want to show you guys another uh, way to search for properties by using asterisks. Those of you that aren't familiar with using asterisks when searching for public remarks or uh, agent to agent remarks. All you're going to do is type in that uh, asterisk and then type in fixer or whatever keyword you're going to search for. And it'll scrub the MLS for any verbiage that uh, fits what you just typed in. So, for example, here I typed in fixer, showed 13 matches. 
Um, now, 13 matches. It's quite a bit. Um, so we can see that all these properties here are matches. Um, and what I personally like to do when I'm searching for deals on the MLS, uh, I like high days on market, um, significant price drops, or uh, when we're looking at the county records or tax records, there's an option for value adds. Uh, for example, if there is an addition that maybe in the 1960s was converted into a uh, additional living space and that additional living space uh, was not recorded on the county website, uh, there's an opportunity to get that property reassessed as long as the work on the addition was done well. We can reassess that and that now counts for new square footage. Um, I'm gonna use this example, Gene. It's set on the market here. It's been sitting on the market for uh, 95 days. It's built in 1962, 18,000 square foot lot, 1,500 square foot house. Uh, pretty cool. So there's this, uh, this garage here. Um, this one's super interesting because the lot's really big. Um, lot's huge. Lot's huge. Looks like the property needs some work. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go to the map view. I like to use the satellite view personally because then I can see what's what's going around the, the neighboring areas. So this is the subject property here. Uh, property is huge. Property is absolutely huge. Um, this garage here that we saw uh, could be a potential add-on conversion. Um, you know, we we could we could add some some square footage uh, to this particular property. Um, but that, this is a great area to right? Smoke Ranch, uh, North Decatur. These are where a lot of these larger lots kind of sit. But that, that's the cool thing with, uh, MLS, cause you're able to pull the data that, that is these properties have already been listed. Uh, and this is indicated as a fixer. So right now they want 410,000 for it. It's been on the market for 95 days. I like to go on the history here because when you call up these people and when you call the agent, uh, it's it's so important when you're talking to people, period, that you have done your homework uh, versus just calling and saying, hey, is this, uh, is this property still uh, listed? Do you have any offers in on it? Like, yeah, it's still listed because you found it on the MLS. Obviously, you dummy. And uh, there's no offers because they they would have they would have stated it on the MLS. Maybe they got an offer in like that day, but uh, honestly, if you call up and you say, "Hey, uh, uh, listing agent, uh, I see that your property was uh, listed originally back in March. It's been on the market for quite some time. I've seen some 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 price drops, um, and it was under contract for a short period of time. What ended up what ended up happening?" Uh, to place this property back on the market. Uh, why, why didn't the buyer close on this? Uh, did it not appraise? And, and really kind of digging deep to figure out what the situation is. Um, let's see. We have 69 days on the market thousand square feet. I, I like this one. I don't know why. Um, 2,800 square feet, uh, 3,200 square foot lot. So it's a small freaking lot. Um, look at that. That's cute. Three, two, two car garage, two car garage, small lot. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Ah, with the terracotta tile, that ceiling is absolutely gorgeous. These pictures are, they suck. 
Um, these pictures suck, man. Um, no wonder why it's been sitting on the market for so long. Uh, let's see here. Um, wow. 850. Now it's down. Wow. That's crazy. 780. They're just asking too much for this thing. Too much. Um, so let's go back to the criteria search. Uh, so that's using the word fixer, right? Um, with these additional uh, public, with these additional fields, you can type in anything, right? Like uh, handyman, handyman. Let's see what happens. Nothing pops up there, right? Oh, four did. Four popped up. Sorry. Had to wait for the internet to pop. All right. So you wrote handyman. I wrote handyman in there. So no other criteria outside of handyman. I just want to show you the value and the effectiveness of uh, uh, PMLS. So uh, handyman special. Let's click this one. Beautiful house, man. I don't know why I said this is a handyman. Let's see. This looks like a really good house. Up, 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 storage, ready to move in. Carpet. Low HOA. Storage shelves. So the reason why I pulled it up is because it said your handyman will love it. Um, let's see. Uh, skipjack. I remember that street. We've done a couple on skip. We've done one on skipjack. Let's do pleasant. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. Beautiful lot. Look at that. That's a sweet house. So what I would do, for example, what I would do, for example, is um, you see this back here. This is additional uh footage uh it is a garage um property looks like in very decent condition um very good very very decent condition uh, doesn't need a lot what i would do is uh i would pull up this um, and then reach out to uh, reach out to the agent and the um, the process here is when you find a particular property that uh, fits your investors criteria or something that you're looking for uh, call the agent qualify to see if the listing is applicable um, see if it's still available see uh, if there's any offers and if those offers were taken um why hasn't it been closed yet um looks like this property was decreased in the amount that uh, uh over the past 18 days uh, i see the property has been decreased uh why has it been decreased you know how fast are they looking to move and then what you do as an agent is you verify that ask them if you can walk the property go walk the property and then take really good footage uh, with your uh, with your iPhone. Just take really good footage with your iPhone. You want to take anywhere from 35 to 40 good photos. Uh, my rule of thumb when you're walking a property uh, is take footage as if you're walking the property the first time through the front door, through the living room, through the bedroom, and take, take uh, footage so you can share that uh, with your potential buyer or investor. Um, 
then at that point, uh, you take the photos, make sure that you take photos of the AC, the backyard, you want to take photos. Uh, my rule of thumb is one o'clock and seven o'clock and, you know, in, in the room. So one o'clock in the room and then seven o'clock in the room. So everybody can get a really good idea of the layout of the house. Um, then at that point, after you walk the property uh, and you leave the property, text the agent and let them know and say, hey, um, I left the property. The property looks great. I filmed uh, some footage. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send that to my buyer. Um, and then once you get back to the office, make sure that you text them again. My big rule of thumb is when you're working with other agents is, uh, try your best to to overly communicate, especially uh, when you're just getting a showing, right? Now, this kind of is going to lean into, uh, you know, we, we say, okay, this, this property works in regards of criteria and what everybody is looking for, what the buyers are looking for. Uh, how do we calculate uh, repairs costs on something like this? So I'm going to use Skipjack, for example. Skipjack has solar. Oh, wow. Kitty litter everywhere. This is a mess. This is a mess. So how do we calculate repairs on uh, a property like Skipjack? Um, now... I'm going to dive into comps really quick. Let's say you say, okay, this is, this is the property I want to look at. How do we determine what the ARV is on this particular property? Uh, the purchase price right now is three sixty. Um, let's go here. Let's do search. Now, I like to go under contract, no show, and then sold. Skipjack is 1,400 square feet. So I'm going to adjust this criteria here, living space. I'm going to do 1,200 to 1,600. Nah, 1,500 would be fine. 1,550. Give you about nine matches right so we can see here based on the added criteria that i added in these fields that um i can see who the agent is i can see the closed price of the property i can see the sold term so va conventional cash 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 conventional cash right so why did pumpkin why did pumpkin sell for cash and skipjack hasn't sold right this looks a lot better than skipjack it's cleaned up uh the floor's done uh looks like it needs new paint uh this isn't like a crazy crazy extensive rehab so i can see why that uh went for cash what we want to do is determine the arv right so i have property condition right here uh good excellent so let's do 432 Pumpkin Way. 432 Pumpkin Way closed for 422 for cash. Not a lot of photos. All right, not a good reference. Let's try this one. 420 Pumpkin Way. Oh, clean. So as we can indicate here, it looks like floors are newer. Um, there's no interior damage. It looks like this property was lived in uh, because of the drapes and the blinds and this cable cord. Um, floors are shiny. These are, uh, they look either famica -y or they could be granite countertops, old appliances old uh cabinetry nice little nook 
What is that? Wow. It's probably where the TV was at one point or something. I don't know. I don't know what the heck that is. But that needs to be a fix, right? So this sold pretty much. It's, it's 422. Um, wow. Backyard is, you know, this isn't like the most amazing comp. Check this one, 419, super clean. Okay, this is a good example, 419, it looks good. This looks like a remodel. You got the quartz tops, painted uh, cabinets, looks like the house is painted. Um, so we're gonna use we're going to use 420 as the comp. Um, and I'll provide you guys with this uh, calculator. So what you're going to do is you're going to type in the ARV here. Okay. Now you're, you're saying like, dude, how, how do I determine repairs on this thing uh, to look like the other one, right? Now, second glance at this, let's start from the beginning here. Uh, second glance at this, right? There's some solar. So depending on the scenario of solar, uh, you know, is it, is the note assumable for the solar panels? Yes, no, maybe so. That's something that has to be discovered during the title process. Uh, the roof looks okay. I don't know what this is right here. Looks like there's some there's some stuff going on there. The garage looks super funky. I could tell that uh, simply through the uh, this indentation here. This right here, the separation. Uh, the exterior of the home uh, doesn't look amazing uh so it doesn't look amazing exterior of the home looks like it needs new paint uh, new exterior lights so paint the floor looks decent now this <clears throat> this would have to be dissected when you dive in more to this, but the floor looks pretty decent. Uh, this is a really cool feature if this is done correctly. Uh, I don't understand what this is here. It looks like this is the, the front door and you just walk into this. It's kind of funky. Um, there's a lot of debris here. I don't know what, this looks kind of some separation kitchen full needs to be redone cabinets need to be redone countertops and then appliances and uh dishwashers missing uh, new ceiling fans new floor throughout the property uh new tops so bathrooms need to be redone looks like they did some pretty cool tile here i don't know how good it looks uh, and it's a mess, man. So we need like about a dumpster here, a dumpster, exterior, interior paint, uh, and then all the bathrooms need to be refinished and redone. So uh, ARV is at 422. Uh, I have these kind of price breakdowns here. Um, I would say this falls into like a $26 to $34 uh, square foot cost to get this completely uh, switched out um, and look like it's in excellent condition. And uh, if you guys want the link on how to really dive deeper in the cost of this, uh, I can share that video with you too. 
So this is 1,450 square feet. Okay, so $36, $32 a square foot goes in here. I would say about anywhere from 40 to 45,000 to get this property looking good. So then the rehab cost over here. Okay. And in this calculator, it already breaks down realtor commissions. Once you sell the property, um, closing costs, taxes and utilities, HOAs at zero, uh, e-recording, that's typically if you have a notary or you're recording electronically, it's going to be about 90 bucks. Uh, okay. Now, um, what we want to do is we're looking at 20 ARV, pop, pop, pop. They want a purchase price of four seven or uh, three seventy nine. So let's do three seventy nine. The great thing about this calculator, guys, is it already calculates uh, where you need to be at, um, like the max allowable offer, based on what your uh, uh, investors' returns are. Right, twenty thousand, in my opinion, is low especially now with the volatility in the market, I would like to be at anywhere from 35,000. Uh, that, that would be ideal uh, for this one in and out, like $30,000 just in case, um, you know, kind of anything changes. Uh, and then it also gives us enough margin if we decide to keep the property to refinance out of it. So we're at uh, 30,000. So we have a max allowable offer of 329. So so now we change the purchase price to 329. Now it's uh, your responsibility as an agent or representing agent to reach out to these homeowners to see how we can get to the 320 329 mark. Uh, this property has been on the market for 35 days. There hasn't been crazy amounts of action. So um, it doesn't look like it was under contract. I don't feel, uh, actually, excuse me, uh, the purchase price was uh, $359. Sorry about that. So they, they originally wanted $359. So from $359 to $329, it's not that big of a jump especially since they have the solar panels on there. I don't know if those are assumable. You could use that as a, uh, as a negotiating tactic. Uh, priced under 60K market, investor special, fixer upper, uh, TLC, a handyman's dream. See, these are all keywords that you can search. Um, Let's see, pop, pop, pop. Nothing about the solar panels. I don't see anything. But uh, understanding, you know, if those solar panels are assumable or what's left on the note, that could be used as a negotiating tactic to perhaps lower the price. So I'm going to provide you guys with this information here on how to actually comp. Um, and you'll see that uh, it'll break down like total money costs for your investor based on the percentages on what they want to see, right? So if we can get anywhere from a 10 to 12% ROI on an acquisition, I think we're doing a solid job uh, depending on the, the money costs, depending on your, the, your investor's money costs. So that's the breakdown on how to determine uh, the repair costs and then how to use the MLS to your advantage. Now, the cool thing is, is you can take those specific leads that I was talking to you about. Um, let's get really, really specific here. Let's say your investor is looking for a property that is uh, 2000 square feet to no more than 2,800 square feet. They're looking for a single family residence. Okay. 
Um, they're looking for one story. So there's one example there. Let's widen up this gap here. 1,500 to 2,400 square feet. Let's see what happens there. Um, that's good. Let's see if we can make some adjustments here. All right, I'm going to refresh this because there's a there's something on here that's not. Uh, that's not allowing me to see everything, so. Let's go here. Let's go 2,000 to 2,800 square feet. Your investor is looking for that property. It's a single family house. Uh, one story. So it breaks it down to 784. Okay. Um, now let's say, um, let's look for no HOA fees or no association fees. Okay. So it breaks it down to 257. And uh, let's see if somebody will take. I like owner carries. I like doing uh, uh, these kind of creative deals. Let's see. So there's four, right? I'm going to increase the the square footage because maybe we can do 3,700 square feet. So there's five right there. So I'm going to click the results tab. It's going to pull up five properties that fit based on the criteria that we were just talking about. The cool thing with ML, MLS, and once you set up all these features here, uh, you can literally, you know, if this was a, a really big list, you can simply just export this list. And now you have a CSV file that you can upload into any type of uh, call system that you have to cold call these agents or put these uh, uh, listings in a CRM so you can see if any changes have been made uh, throughout the process. Now, this is how uh, we've done it and how we currently do it is, is we export a list that we're looking to target um, and then we reach out to those particular agents to see if we can uh, make a deal happen. I'll look at this one. Oh, this is nice, super clean. So that, my friends, is a quick, brief rundown on how to uh, navigate through the MLS uh, to find more deals on the MLS for your investors. Um, if you have any questions or you like this, uh, please, uh, I'd love to hear your comments and I'd love to, to see if this was super beneficial for you. Um, this is going to work in... Uh, all states that are disclosure states, uh, those of you that are in non-disclosure states, uh, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see some of the closed price and some of the details. Uh, but in disclosure states, you'll be able to see all this stuff. So hopefully, this was Benny. Benny, hopefully, this was beneficial for y'all. Hopefully, this was beneficial for you guys. I uh, hope you guys have an amazing day, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.